Would you like a free tool to control your Steam Deck from your Windows desktop or your Linux PC or your mobile phone? Well, you're in luck because today that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna show you how to do easy file transfers between your Windows computer and your Steam Deck. And the best part is it's all free. Stick around and I'll show you how. Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here. Let's get started by installing Rust Desk right here on my Windows 11 PC. Now it's at rustdesk.com and you're gonna see these warnings a few times and they look a little bit creepy and suspicious, like somehow I'm trying to trick you into something. But this is how a lot of uh, remote scammers get control of your PC because it's very easy to use. So we're gonna head over to the download area. This is on GitHub. We're looking for the x86-64, 64-bit version, and we're going to grab the EXE for Windows. And you can download wherever you like. We're gonna put it on the desktop for easy access. And it's very, very small. It's gonna pop right up there for you. And right here on the desktop, we have the uh, Rust Desk icon. We're gonna double click it, and it will just run the application for us. There's no installation needed. However, you could have some problems with remote access due to user account control. So we're going to go ahead and do the install as it says to avoid UAC. Pretty simple, just a single click and you're going to get some pop ups here. You might want to read the end user agreement. Again, there's your UAC prompts that we're going to have to get through. So we're going to let it install, and that gives you a dedicated icon on the desktop, etc. So now when you run it again, you don't have any sort of restrictions, and it says it's ready to go. So the credentials to get to this desktop is this ID and this one-time use password case sensitive. Now you probably, you probably want your own password. You probably want a permanent password. All sorts of options here. You can enable this, enable that, disable this, disable that. But you'd probably really want to use this permanent password. So you're sitting here clicking on set permanent password and nothing's happening. That's because you actually have to push a little button at the top of this thing. This is a little creepy, right? I, I played around a whole bunch just showing you that all of this stuff is sort of blanked out, but it's kind of hard to tell on the black background. Probably looks better in white. So I sat here and flipped around a little bit trying to figure out how to use the password. Well, look at the top. It says unlock security settings. I would have probably never gotten that if I hadn't played around a lot. So again, you get a user account control. Oh, look at this. Now all of a sudden, hey, all of these things now look like they're accessible. So we can go ahead and set that permanent password. It will give you a strength test along with that. And so I was gonna use something easy you know, because it's a local network thing. I'm not super concerned about it, but uh, okay, we'll put in something a little more beefy to make it happy. Great, nice and strong. All right, so now I use a permanent password. We'll go back to the home screen. You'll see that the one-time password is now dashed out. We're not gonna be using that anymore. We'll use the real password. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and install Rust Desk over on the Steam Deck now so we can actually take control of it. Obviously, you'll need to be over in desktop mode for this, so let's flip over there now. And on the deck, you're gonna open up your favorite browser and you're going to go to rustdesk.com. Hit download, just like we did before. It's also going to take us to GitHub. And we have a couple of options for Linux here for the x86 64-bit architecture, which is what we want. We have both Flatpak and App Image. Flatpak kind of works, but you have to give it elevated permissions. So I'm going to use the app image version, which works without elevated permissions. Right. Again, simple download. And uh, we'll close our browser. And here it is sitting on our desktop. We're going to double click it. It's going to say, if you don't trust it, click cancel. We do trust it. We'll hit continue. And here she comes. Look at that. There she is, it looks exactly the same. You have your desktop ID and a one-time password. And there is no user account control. It's already ready to go. Bless Linux for 
these small things in our lives. There's also no uh, button on the top to allow security. We can go ahead and set that permanent password. Now, we set the password for the Windows machine. If I wanted to remote the Windows machine, I could do that using that password. I'm going to set the exact same password here, but you could do different passwords if you like. I just wanted to have a permanent password and we're going to say use permanent password so the uh, one time deal doesn't happen anymore. All right, so we have our number here. We're going to need that on the Windows side to enter into the control remote desktop. And we'll flip back over there now and do that. And now that we're back on Windows, we're ready to go ahead and enter that remote ID for the deck. I happen to have it on my clipboard, but you'll probably have to type it out. And we'll hit connect. Wah, wah. You have a connection error. There's no remote desktop is offline. Really? Is that true? Maybe we should hop back over to the deck and find out. Back here on the deck. Oh yeah, Rust isn't running. So you need to have Rust running. So here's what you do. Before you drop it in your dock or plug it into charge and lay it down somewhere, run Rust Desk and just leave it sitting there. Okay, so uh, there we go. Now what should happen is now that this is running, we should get a pop-up saying that Shane is trying to connect. Oh, there we go. I am trying to connect. And you can even turn permissions on and off from there. Back on Windows, we're going to enter the Rust Deck password. Ta-da! I am now accessing my Steam Deck directly from Windows in a full remote session. Now, there's all sorts of goodies you can do if you're not seeing what you think you should be seeing, such as um, scaling, right? And in my case, my deck is connected to a monitor, so I'm going to need to change over to the other screen. That's my main display, my primary display. That looks a little bit better. And again, you can do some scaling. There's all sorts of stuff we can do here. This isn't intended to be a full-blown Rust desk tutorial. Just enough to show you how to get over here. You could run uh, EmuDeck install or do whatever you want, all from the comfort of your PC while your deck's sitting over in the dock somewhere. Now, this remote uh, file transfer thing is fast. It might be the fastest I've seen yet. So if you're using SSHFS or SSH or anything like that, you may want to take a look at this because it is really speedy. And, you know, again, um, you're going to already have it running, right? So why not use the tools that you have already instead of something else? But yeah, I recommend once you've got the remote control bit down, check out this dedicated file transfer because it is very, very cool. Let's see what it looks like the other way around. Let's go back to my Steam Deck and uh, connect to my Windows PC. Hey, look at that. I'm actually on my Windows PC from my Steam Deck. And you're going, why the hell would you ever want to do that? Hey, you're, you're uh, on your deck in the living room and your PC has a couple of files you need. Don't have to get up and go to your office now. Just remote over to your Windows PC and grab it. Pretty neat stuff. It works both ways and it is super easy easy. Probably more important to those uh, watching this video is it's not just easy, it's free. Now listen, it's hard to go wrong with free, right? Quality piece of software, uh, works out off of a central server so you don't have to worry about land to land, all sorts of good reasons why this is a great solution free or otherwise. All right, listen, if you like what you saw here, like, subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment down below if you want to see something else like this. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching and take care. We'll see you next time.